Hey everybody, this is Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney. Today, I wanna add a plan. Before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you are not this group of law firm owners ever, um, if you are not making more money, working less, moving towards the life of your dreams, then you need to come and join the sanctuary. It is a group of law firm owners that I put together um, where we talk about cool stuff. I teach you everything that I'm using for my firm so that you can use it for your firm and get to where you want to go. If you are interested, check it out, lawyersanctuary.com. All right. So today, one of the things I want to talk about today, um, there are quite a few people coming into the sanctuary lately, which means I have been doing a lot more one-on-one -on -one calls with people because everybody that comes in, um, gets basically an hour with me. And, uh, it's a good way to kick off joining, but it's also um, a good way for me to like, instant. there's always value there. And, um, and and one of the things that I always ask, always um, um, not satisfied with, are what people's plans are, right? What's up, Andrew? What's up, Adam? What's up, Joy? Thank you guys for tuning in late at night, late, relatively late night nine nine o'clock west or seven o'clock west coast time um but uh what i hear from people is like you know this is this is classic you know i want to make seven figures i want to uh, on, on the biz in the biz on the business not in the business you know I want time freedom they, they these are the common answers that everybody says and I'm, I'm 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 right along with you if you'd ask me probably two three five years ago this would have been the same thing that i said and the, that that's great to want to do that want to just like work less right i mean even what i told you about joining the sanctuary work less make more sort of a that's a trick to get you to join and then i get you to figure out what you really want and show you how to get that but that's kind of the point of this video now you have a lot of time I hope maybe i have actually less time than ever because um you know we're, we're doing uh, shout out to the wifey because she's doing most of the kid stuff, but we're also kid stuff, which means I'm working less than ever, um, um, relative to to before the the Rona. But, um, you know, if you have time on your hands, if you don't have time on your hands, to carve out some time specifically to think about what you want to look like. You know, how do you want things to be? You know, if if uh, I I recently caught my by saying, you know, I know what I want. I want time freedom. I want money freedom. I want location freedom. And I sort of copped out by saying, you know, I know I'm pretty general about these things. It's just because what I really want is is the ability to sort of pursue opportunities as they come up. That's true, but it's also sort of whack, right? It's not true at the same time. If if uh, I honest with myself, there are certain things that that would be super fun for me to have if I had. But it's just, there are certainly things that I would choose over other things, and it's really important to understand and want and be honest with what you want so that you can actually work on your plan. Like wanting to have seven figures, wanting to have let wanting to work less, wanting to do the stuff you don't like, those are nice ideas, but they're not specific enough to actually figure where you want to go. You know, if like for me, for example, over the course of the last few weeks, I've come to realize some interesting things or some things that I, I would at least want to pursue and check out and and from, from about working less it's more about working on the things that um that that really sort of like get me juiced up and and and, and this has been more real since I just hired this latest attorney which is really just building a, a law that just is provides amazing service has great clients does great things and then on a higher level, which means teaching and training more attorneys, training more paralegals, training more offices potentially down the road, um, testing and and, um, and uh, expanding on these marketing ideas and these marketing efforts that I'm doing right now, very hyper locally, but taking them um, into other hyper local locations, right? So translation, and when I I could be coming for your town someday, it's true, okay? Probably not super fast, right? I'm not crazy about 
rapid expansion, but it could definitely happen. Um, so the, the point of all that is if you don't know where you want to go, if you don't know what you want to do, it's impossible for you to get there. And if you don't create timelines around what you're trying to do, and it's also really hard to get there. And to put this into perspective, to make it real for you, my goal really 21, my goal, my short-term goal, which is 2021, is to um, have the ability to build zero legal work if I don't want to, okay? Now, that process really started six months ago. I started looking for a new attorney, but I took the time this time to make sure that I really got the right, I thought was the right person um, in the office with me. Before I've kind of hired willy nilly, I just took the first person that I saw that was that was good hiring has gotten a little bit better over time as I've, I've um, you know, practiced more and, and made bad decisions. But um, I find someone that I thought was going to do a good job. OK, and she started a couple weeks ago. And in the meantime, I thought about this, this um, uh, intangibly and then the skills that I would want to build in this person. And I, I set about creating a, a, a technology and a timeline and a system for teaching that person those skills. Okay. And I'm building that out right now. And by the way, as soon as I'm done building it, as with everything else, I'm going to share it with you. Um, but the way I set it out is I was when I want to hit this benchmark. So now I, now I can back it up with more realistic benchmarks that don't make me feel like I'm, I'm always chasing things I'm always I'm always going fast as I can through things so for example with this new attorney I'm really not even uh, I'm not planning on putting her in front of anyone and speaking to any new clients or anybody like like at least June okay so June 1 is my goal to actually have her start to sort of like take her own meetings and do her own things that gives dive into estate planning, dive into my philosophy, dive into my systems, my processes, show her how I have meetings and, and um, teach her how to, how to sell people and how to talk to people and how to, how to um, do it right. By doing that then, Q3, right? So by July, I would love for her to be able to start um, paying for herself, signing up enough people to, to, to basically pay back her salary, right? That's that's number one. So from I want to become a regular thing by the end of Q3. Then from Q3 into Q4, out honing everything, honing all the chops, honing all the systems, making sure that everything is down, right? Getting in there as much as she can. One, I really have the ability to turn her loose for the most part, right? That doesn't mean I'm going to be walking away because I'm not, but it does mean that there's going to be joy and that I can enjoy. And that will allow me the opportunity to do other things that I want to do for the firm, to grow, to expand, to grow it, to expand it, to do all of those things that I want to do and have time to do anything else that I want to do outside of the firm. So, you know, the point of this, the big point of all of this is to know what your own plan is, to have your own plan. So if you are for the quarter and it's just a dollar amount, you haven't done enough. Like what does that dollar amount represent? What is it going to allow you to do? If you want to work less, where are you going to fill that time? If you think you're just going to sit on the beach and sit my ties, you're wrong. You're going to get bored. You're going to get, you're going to get tired of it. You're going to look for the and you might as well just be honest with what you want to do and make it happen. Okay, that's it. Put together the plan and, you know, iterate the plan because it's going to change and keep working towards your big goal, to keep talking, working towards your, your big thing and, and you'll be there faster than you ever thought you could be. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for your time, as always. Button. If you know someone needs to hear this, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. And if you have not even looked at law firm owner group in the world, I say this with confidence and in truth. I'm not even, I'm not even being grandiose. Uh, anyway, if you, the KU stuff is right here. 
by the way. Uh, I was showing it off and it fell down. If, uh, um, if you have not checked out the lawyer uh, at the sanctuary, lawyersanctuary.com, okay? You don't have to sign up for anything there. You can just learn about it. But it's pretty great. Some amazing results in there. And it's a fun, safe place for law firm owners to go and, and really sort of um, build the life of lawyersanctuary.com. Go check that out. Otherwise, I am Christopher Small. I am the unconventional attorney. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again.